So um, I'm delighted to be with Guy Shahar today. Have I pronounced that right, Guy? Yes. Good. Okay. Uh, and Guy is the man behind Hopful Healing. So Guy, tell us what you do, what your business is about. So basically, I use energy healing to transform people's lives by removing the energetic blocks and helping them to live the life they want to live, um, to remove whatever is stopping them from doing what they want to do, feeling how they want to feel and achieving what they want to achieve, um, giving them the life that they want effectively. That sounds terrific. Uh, and it sounds like uh, when I asked that question about who would your client be, it could be everybody, but um, who is a good customer for you? Somebody who really um, wants their life to be transformed, wants their life to be changed. It might be something simple like, um, uh, you know, physical pain, aches and pains and things like this. Um, it could be something more profound, like feeling blocked in an area of their life. You know, maybe their career or not having direction in, in a certain area or uh, difficulty with a, with a particular relationship. And there's actually a particular program that I have, which is about helping people to optimize their relationship with a partner or to find a partner if, if, they're, if they're looking for one. Um, it might also be people who have issues with children and pets because the work works really, really effectively with children and pets as well. Okay, you were, you were telling me about an achievement with your wife's cat. <laughs> yeah, my wife was, um, she was away with her mother recently and her mother's got a new kitten. And um, so one day the kitten got a virus and had to go to the vet. And it was a beautiful, playful kitten. Um, you know, loved life, was always happy and playful. And, and after it had been to the vet, it found the experience really traumatic. It had to have injections and it was shaking afterwards. It couldn't eat. It was, it was just a totally different cat. Um, so she called me, she told me what it was. I, I literally did a few minutes work on this cat. That's all it took. Um, and the next morning, the cat was back to its, its um, lively, happy, playful self. It had to go to the vet again that day to have a second dose of, the, of, the, uh, of injection. And it coped really well with the experience. It wasn't affected. It was eating perfectly well again. So, yeah, that was just a small example with my wife's mother's cat. That's fantastic. But I know you've also had success with people. Yeah. Um, so perhaps you can give us an example of, of somebody you helped there. Yeah, well, the one I was, I was mentioning before was about um, a woman, fairly young woman, actually, who was um, bedridden. She wasn't able to get out of bed, barely able to get out of bed, um, feeling really weak and exhausted. Again, it was a single session. This is really fast for something like that. But, but in her case, in a single session, um, she was able to um, get up, move about. She still had a little bit of pain in her back, but, but it was nothing compared with what it had been before. And as a bonus, she found that her eyesight was improved as well. That's fantastic. <laughs> Double whammy as, yeah. a, as a result of that. And it is, is it something that she will need to keep going with or, um, you know, is one treatment going to be sufficient for her? Well, one, one treatment took her to, to where she is now. If she wants to deepen it, which she does, and I'm carrying on with her, but um, then we, we can carry on with the work. If she doesn't, what, what is probably most likely to happen with something like that, because it's, you know, it was a pretty major and serious thing and it's not likely to be totally resolved in one session. Mm -hmm. What the most probable thing is, is that she'll be, she'll feel great for a while and then it'll start to, you know, get a little bit worse again. Right. And that, it doesn't mean that the healing hasn't worked. What that means is the body is ready for the next layer of healing. So okay. that's when, you know, typically we would, we would come back and uh, we would do more work with her. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing one thing you need to do is to make sure you stay in touch with those people that you've had yeah. success with so they remember to come back when they start feeling yeah, the, 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 in need of a second dose. Yeah. What made you start the business, Guy? I was, I, I was doing nothing like this. I was working with another therapist who was, you know, treating me. And um, I saw on her website one day that she was now um, trained in a, in a modality called the Emotion Code, which I'd never heard of, which didn't particularly speak to me. But something told me I had to go and get, get a session of this uh, Emotion Code. And so I did. And while it was going on, I just had this really strong feeling I could do this. Um, and... It was never anything that I thought was possible for me to do, actually, because it was using um, 
energy work using kinesiology remotely, muscle testing remotely, which was a foreign language for me. But when I, I, I actually decided to learn to do it, and as I was learning to do it, I found it was really, it was really working for me. Mm. It was working for myself. It was working on my family. And I was having really good results with friends who I was practicing on as, as well. And many of them started referring people to me. Um, so I started to get a stream of people who I didn't know who were wanting wanting work. And that's when that's when I realized I needed to set up a business and, and, and take this forward. What a great way to know yeah. that this is the right path yeah. to go on. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I think a lot of people starting a business would love to, to start with people queuing up to refer business to them. So that's fantastic. And, and I know it's a business you've set up in lockdown. So yeah. what, you've been having to do a lot of this remotely, which just proves that the world is your oyster really going yeah. forward, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. And, and I have clients in Canada and, and America and um Europe it's yeah it's an international business it's a good job we've got the internet for you to be able to broadcast what you do on there and for people and I hope this video will help people understand a little bit too so what do you enjoy doing when you're not working well I um I meditate I have I I follow a meditation practice called heartfulness which I've been doing for more than 20 years and I've been a, a trainer of it for, for more than 18 years wow um and that's that's had a huge impact on it. That's probably the the main reason I'm alive at the moment, to be honest. Um, I um, I write music sometimes. I'm I'm not Mozart by any stretch of anyone's <laughs> imagination, but I occasionally write uh, pieces of music. Um, and I like going on walks, nature walks, with the family or, or by myself. That's terrific. And I know you've recently done a walk for uh, or some walking for for your, the charity that you manage. That's as right. Well which is going to be the subject of another interview in yeah. due course. So how do people find out more about you and what you offer? If they wanted to check you out, where should they go? Uh, my website is heartforhealing.co.uk. Brilliant. And are you on social media? I am on social media. Which, which I probably need to be more active on it, but um, <laughs> Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. OK, so we'll post. Um, in the comments or, or below the video the, how to find you on social media and encourage people to connect with you. Great. Guy, thank you very much indeed. It's lovely to get to know a little bit more about you. I know that there's a lot more we could talk about um, and, and we are going to talk about your charity at some point, um, but I'll stop this recording at this point uh, and look forward to that. In